probably the leadiest of lead-based paint, you know, if you want to try and, like, check. Yeah, yeah. there's lead in uh, oh, there. Okay, <laughs> all right. Welcome to Hoovy's Farm, the dumbest farm in all of YouTube, but calling it a farm is kind of a stretch, but that's what this originally was, this property. The house behind me, built in 1895, this was a farmstead where they had cattle, they had crops, but now it's just five acres. The crops surrounding me have been sold off, and now I get basically the original farmstead property, and I am turning it into the ultimate car guy's paradise. Now, when I bought this thing, I did get an inspection on the house, and it did check out very well, but the rest of the buildings were all 100% as is. I did not have them inspected. So I decided to call in a little expert. Now normally he's an expert when it comes to cars, but he has lived on the farm a very long time himself, up until very recently, the car wizard. So he knows a lot more than me about a property like this, and I am very curious what he has to say. He's coming over very soon. I'm very excited to show it to him, but I'm also a little worried about what he might find. A few of these buildings are probably older than my grandparents, so uh, yeah. But before I let the car wizard inside, I'd like to thank Morgan and Morgan for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've had my fair share of accidents, ouch, and other incidents, oof. But I can't stress enough the importance of seeking a lawyer if you need help after an injury or insurance claim following an accident. That's, after all, why we have insurance. And if they aren't making you whole after having an accident, you really need a lawyer. I know it may seem like a daunting prospect having to find one, spending hours in meetings and the cost of it, but you couldn't be more wrong. How? Well, more than three million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they were injured in an accident. And here's why. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. They modernize the injury law process so you can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records, and doctor bills all from your phone. You can even text message your attorney and case manager without ever having to go into an office. So if you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. So you can get started at ForThePeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell. Wizard! Oh, goodness! Oh, Wizard's here! But he's, he's too polite to knock. <laughs> Hello, Wizard. Hello. You could knock or ring a doorbell. You don't have to worry about that. Is this the new Hoovies garage here? The, yes, well, the Hoovies farm, I suppose, you know, built in yeah. 1895 originally. Did you? What's up with that? Um, there's a light. There'll be a table here. You don't need to walk into it, but yes. Yeah. Oh, you know, there's some things that came with the house that uh, I'm just, you know, hanging back up. It's kind of odd, but okay. Yeah, but uh, beautiful updated main floor here, but the house originally built in 1895. This is where it would have ended. Okay. This seam right here, and then they sort of built out the porch to give you a nice sitting area. It has like a feel of 1895, but you can tell it's definitely been updated. They did a very good job. Yes, well, I want you to get full nitty gritty, be honest if you find things, because Wizard lived on a farm for a long time. You married into property with Mrs. Wizard, right? That's right. Yes, uh, a nice several acres. How many was it? 40. 40 acres where they farm, they farm corn? Like it's out here. Corn and Milo and soybeans, all kinds of things. So he knows all about farm life. You're married into it. And, That's right. Well, I'm curious what you think of my farm. It's only five acres and everything's farmed around it. But uh, yeah, so give me the inspection here. Um, the house itself, see the kitchen's nicely updated too. I doubt you'll find any issues here. It looks very well done. How long ago was this done? Oh, in the last year or two. So very recently. Mm hmm. They did a very good job. Yeah. Stove. Yes. Copper hood. Was oh. that the, the farm back then? Oh, yep. Let's take a look. 1956, an aerial photo. Wow. So, like, there's the house. Mm hmm. There's the, the windmill and several buildings. Yeah, a lot of them out there still exist. So, a lot of them, well, are as old as this, are probably older than World War II. Wow. Yeah, pretty impressive. But you can see the house didn't have the garage before this mm -hmm. addition where they had the new foundation put on and uh, added on to it. But uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But everything else downstairs, 
I don't really understand how it works, but it's really neat. I'd love for you to see it. Let's go check it out. All right. Come see, come see, wizard. This is the utility room. Wow. And this is something I've never dealt with before. Uh, you can see I do have a nice modern basement foundation. Everything's uh, really nice here. Instant water heater, which I've never had before, but oh, that's, that's nice. a really nice addition to the house to have it. Uh, really like it. But the thing I really don't understand is the geothermal system, which I, I think it's all this, obviously. Right. Um, so do you understand it at all? I see like summer and winter. This is a humidifier. That's what this is. But, you know, most houses have an outdoor unit and it uses air to cool it. Mm -hmm. well, this uses water, and then it uses, when it warms up the water, it sends the water probably to a pond or something. Yes, it does air it out to a pond, but okay. it's basically getting water from the, it sends water through the ground, I think? Is well, that it pulls water, like the well water from the ground, to cool the condenser coil, mm -hmm. and then sends the water outside. Well, it does blow very cold. The whole house feels really, like... It doesn't feel like a drafty old house. Mm -hmm. And the AC seems to have no problem keeping up. I mean, do you see any issues here at all? I do see this panel has been updated. You know, back in the day, they had old glass fuses and stuff. Oh, yeah, but yeah. This one's got the nice, yeah, it's got the nice switches. That's great. Everything's labeled. And I mean, probably about when they did the new foundation, that maybe the, the 80s or so. I would think they updated all the electrical, right? Yeah, definitely. So what's the big ball there? That is your pressure tank for your well pump. Oh. So, like, even if the well pump were to die, you have some pressure built up there. And it keeps the pump from cycling all the time. I see. Okay. Well, a little bit of the old house, you can see the ancient floorboards and things. Oh, right up there, yeah. And then that hand-cut wood. That is so cool. Not something you see at Home Depot nowadays. Oh, really good on this side. Yeah, you can't buy that type of wood anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to give you a full tour of the house. Well, I will. You can see everything, but like personal spaces, I'm not going to show on YouTube. But what I'm really interested in is the outside buildings and what you think and if I should save some or bulldoze some others. So if you come take a look outside, that'd be great. Let's go do it. All right. Come on out, wizard. Well, I guess you can see the biggest garage I have, actually. So this is a Hoobie's Garage 3.0 for now. It just fits two vehicles. Though. Yeah, I mean, only the Escalade and the Grand National are in here right now, but actually I plan to get rid of this garage. I may enclose it and make it into like a master suite. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, so the only garage I have I want to get rid of, but uh, it already has a lot of things that you would want in a bedroom, or basically right here, an apartment. It's a, uh, I guess it was a hobby room. Oh, it's AC and everything. Right? Yeah, there's a restroom in here. Definitely needs updating, but it's functional. Wow. And the mini split unit is not something you want to use, you know, in your master bedroom probably. But it looks like a pretty new unit, huh? It does. But uh, one thing I definitely want to add is a big bank of windows looking out on the property. And that's sort of why I want to bulldoze a building out here to not obstruct the view. But uh, otherwise, I really have no use for this room. It's kind of like a, a hobby room, a sewing room, that kind of thing. Right. It's really nice. I think with the windows that you're talking about, that would be sweet. That would be really cool. Yeah. But the whole thing, basically bathroom, closet on either side, will push the wall out a little bit. It'll be, yeah, it'll be a good room. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, those cicadas are starting early here. Mm -hmm. uh, but here's the other half of the mini split. Yep, that's the outdoor unit. Mm-hmm. Which with your geothermal, you notice you don't have that. No, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. But uh, the other thing I don't need is this old milking barn. So this is probably one of the oldest buildings along with the main house, but you can see how rough it is. I mean, there's the, oh, wow. the roof. It had plywood replaced on it, but yeah, it's just, it's just rotting away in so many places. Crumbling, Look, yeah. Looks like they kept a dog in here. They had a dog door, but... Once again, water intrusion and all of that. Mm -hmm. Probably the leadiest of lead-based paint, you know, if you want to try and, like, check. Yeah, yeah. there's lead uh, in oh, there. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of rough. Look at the floors. Yeah. Yeah. But they tried to, they replaced the ceiling, obviously, with the modern plywood, but... 
It is so rough. And this was the milking barn, so you have this trough right in the middle here. They put food here while they're milking the cows? Or I, so I was told maybe water would run through here. Okay, water. Keep water. things cool, but uh, yeah, you can see there's a big rotten part of the roof right there where it's coming in. Oh, yeah, I can see that. But uh, yeah, kind of a mess. I mean, what do you think? Is this building salvageable? Yeah, I don't think this building is salvageable. Something's really creeping me out, though. Yeah? Like, you had a really nice modernist mansion, and now you're on a chicken farm or a milking farm. How, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it is weird. I just, I wanted something with a few acres to where I could put up my dream space, my dream basically barn or garage. And this was the only thing that really fit the bill. I waited for over six months before I pounced on this thing uh, just to see if anything else would pop up. Uh, the house had the charm and all that stuff, but I don't think anybody wanted this because of all the buildings, you know? Yeah. And you don't have 40 acres or whatever to work any land. It's just the five acres left of the original compound, the farmstead. Uh, so I was the only person dumb enough to buy this crazy thing. It's definitely in line with your vehicle purchases. Uh, it certainly is, yes. <laughs> so this one is going to get knocked down, I suppose, huh? Yeah, I think this one should get knocked down. and You could probably make some things kind of the way you want them and make it fit the bill even more. I already got a quote, 3500 bucks to knock it down to haul off all the concrete. Basically, I'm left with dirt, dirt. level dirt. That's not bad, actually. I thought it was pretty reasonable, yeah. yeah most definitely. But uh, the rest of the buildings, I think I'm going to keep unless... You see something wrong with them. Let's go check them out. Yeah, you can also see how the roof is wavy there. Mm -hmm. it's got, yeah, it's got water underneath of it and softened the wood. And... Yep. So it's coming in. Uh, but this one is also in that photo from 1956. But I think the tin roof has more or less saved it to where it seems pretty sound. But I'm curious what you think. I mean, I trust enough to put the uh, HHRSS, a you know, priceless, rare relic there Very and rare. the Aston Martin Vanquish, you know, which is much less rare and special. When people think of Hoovy's Garage and the type of cars you have, they don't think of this as the storage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this isn't really my long-term solution, uh, most <laughs> certainly, but uh, yeah, what do you think of the structure of this one? I mean, look at those old boards up there. It's just, I think it's definitely a keeper. It's useful. You could put lawn equipment or something out here. Uh -huh. Bicycles. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it has any of the rot or issues of the other place right right it doesn't look like it's about to collapse or soft wood or anything like that so yeah this one's definitely a keeper yeah i think so too and there's one other very old building that i think is super solid as well it looks like an old southern mansion from here especially with your levante classing things up it definitely does but here is the other old old barn but this one being all tin it is really solid and somebody went to the trouble of putting nice new concrete down here as well, inside and out. So it doesn't have the doors. Apparently a tornado blew them off at one point. So I was there's, wondering, where's the doors? Yeah, there's no security to it at all. No climate control insulation, obviously. So I don't feel comfortable putting anything you know super nice in here, but it's a great spot for the trucks. I mean, a million mile Ram and teal metallic, they just look absolutely fantastic in here, don't they? They do, and definitely living out in the country, that's the thing to have, is that GMC. Oh yeah, the GMT 400, and this thing was used a lot for uh, banquets and weddings and things. It kind of became an event space more than a usable barn for the last few decades, and that's when they added all these Edison bulbs. Isn't that neat? That is really cool, it's got a really cool spirit about it a really cool vibe yeah and they even added a restroom out here which i'm not too sure about apparently i'm going to have to winterize it every year and i'm already seeing some water damage down oh. in this part yeah and it just seems like a haven for bugs and roaches and things yeah it may be time to get this moved out of here or removed i should say. remove the restroom yep all right but yeah Pretty party barn, huh? It is, it's really cool, it's really nice. And then right out here is where I plan on erecting Hoovy's Garage 3.0. It's gonna be a very big erection. Over there in, in those bushes? Just right as the concrete ends. Okay. Is where I will I will uh, build the thing. I've, I've had in erections in bushes before. It actually goes very well. Well, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it does, but uh, basically I can go 
60 feet on this side and then I can go 80, 100 feet back. I have to be a little bit careful with the guest barn, which that's gonna blow your mind when you see that in a little bit with the uh, aerators, because there's a second septic back there. Um, but the sky's the limit basically on what I can do. And that's primarily why I bought this place. It is really cool. You probably got a good deal. You got a really nice house and then you can take away the things you don't want and add the things you do want and transform it into, like you said, Hoobie's Garage 3.0. Yeah, so I love the vibe out here. It's just so relaxing. And once I have the berms built up, that's another thing that we're doing over here with the pond, have it all dredged out and then the dirt going up to those berms, those hills over there to where it blocks the road and gives you all this privacy. It'll be so, so nice. Uh, but one thing that still survived from 56 as well is that really cool old windmill. You can see it there. Oh, wow, that is cool. An aero motor. Yes. It, it used to be um, right up by the house, but they moved it back in the 90s here. This old chicken coop too. Well, we'll go in here in a little bit, but I would love to know how this aero motor works or if it's broken. There's actually something mechanical that you can inspect. Uh, because it doesn't really move unless it's super windy. I know it's missing a fin up there. It's missing a fin and there should be like a lever or something you pull to off actually engage the tail fin and swing out. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think this is it here. That's it right there. So that? There's no wind today really, but So that loosened up the tail to where it would deploy and engage and yeah if we had a windy day today the tail would swing out and lock and it would start pumping it looks like the the center rod is not connected though the rod's not connected no oh that's a shame it is a shame it can't pump without the shaft anyway, basically it could be useful where it would pump water from the well out into the pond to help fill it up huh yes that looks like that's what they did there. You can see it's buried into the ground over there and goes to the pond. But yeah, if you ever want to use it, once you get it hooked up, you just deploy it with this lever. And then when you're done with it, you can lock it back. All right. And that's the stowed position. Interesting, okay. Wow, that's cool that you got one of those. Yeah, well, you want to take a look at the chicken coop? chicken farm huh yeah i could definitely farm some chickens here if i wanted to interesting yeah come inside basically it's completely 100 percent ready to go there's even still chicken poop and feathers in there well there was freshly some chickens not too long ago in here then yeah where did they go <laughs> well there's a problem with coyotes out here i know that mm -hmm. and uh there's no fence out there anymore, which I imagine I'd have to add if they wanted to go outside, but uh, nice little home. I mean, you had some chickens on your old property, right? Yeah, we've had several chickens. Are they fun? They are fun. Did you eat the eggs? I did. Sometimes you'll get overrun with eggs. You'll have to give them to your neighbors and whatnot, but I think your kids would like the chickens. Yeah. Well, let's look at the other parts of this structure. There's some weird signs around. I saw the one up there that said exotic pets. I didn't point this out in the last video, though. This is the only, uh, I guess porcelain or is a painted sign that stayed with the property we're not anywhere near whitewater kansas but uh still kind of cool huh yeah that's not too far from here though and then this is a stall for another animal like a donkey or a pig or something maybe you should get a pig <laughs> i don't know apparently a donkey would be good to keep coyotes away yeah, I'm told. it could. It, it, really, they'll go after them. Or alpacas, too. Alpacas? Well, that'd be fun. Yeah, uh, yeah another storage of area. And a lot of things left behind. I mean, they even left, I think, a gallon of gas for me in, in here. It's probably not good anymore, but all kinds of equipment and implements and things. Even a miniature shovel for, for your son. Yeah. Everybody can get in on the fun here of the farming this is really cool. It's a really cool place, man. The more I see, the more I'm like totally like. I know. I'm excited for it. There's you. something just really comforting about this place. Just something. It's, it's just. I'm always so relaxed. Everything I've been seeing is really kind of making me hungry, actually. Okay. Okay. My stomach's growling. Huh. Well, uh, the tour's almost over, Wizard. All right. <sighs> yeah. I mean, the pond, the chicken coop. We could even start farming this again. This was used as a vegetable garden that's now gotten overgrown. 
but you could even have the children of the corn out there <laughs> well i hope not i haven't been scared <laughs> by anything here yet though i mean it's just yeah. if, if there are any ghosts it's really good vibes but also there's this old grain silo it really which, looks cool yeah i mean what would you do with this i mean a lot, a lot of people knock them down because they don't use them anymore but uh yeah i mean what do you think well, I'm going to take a peek inside and see, is it empty or what, what did they do with it? It probably was just grain at one time. Yeah. Is there anything in there? No. Oh, oh. It's got an echo? Yeah, a nice echo in there. Yeah. All right. So let me go look for myself. A little bit of trash, but hello. I mean, it seems pretty solid, huh? Yeah, it is pretty solid. I just keep it just for looks. Yeah, I, I agree. The I, whole vibe with the windmill, the chicken coop, and this, I mean, it's just quintessential Kansas farm here. It is. I don't know what else you would do with it other than just for decoration. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that view just gorgeous, Wizard? It's quintessential Kansas. Very much. And the barn dominium is quintessential Kansas as well. So this barn isn't that old. It's not the old picture, but I do think it's from the 60s or 70s, and they put a new skin on it. And wait till you see what's inside. Well, it looks like it could be a newer building, but I can tell it's not, because if you look underneath the tin, you can see the corrugated old stuff. Yeah. They just slapped the new tin on top of that. So basically what's on the uh, barn, you know, the carport or the big barn, they just put a modern corrugated steel roof over it. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course the new facade. Definitely. And you can tell the width. And you can definitely tell the roof is a little wavy too. It's the, the old roof. Yeah, but wait until you see this. So I do have another one car garage where the mower is sitting, a lot of storage right now. Mm -hmm. Then you go inside. And it is being painted right now, but it is basically a perfect home for me. I could live here, a one bedroom barn dominion. So you have a beautiful kitchen. This is not what I expected to see. Oh, I know, I know. Kind of a divider for the living room. You could have guests and have their own little place to stay. It is an in-law suite for sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking I'm gonna make it a little studio for a future project here. Uh, but uh, yeah, dividing, you have to walk through the bathroom, which oh my. the craziest bathroom ever, yeah. Wow. Yep. That's like a five-star hotel. <laughs> oh, it is really nice. And then I did this all in black. Yeah. What's this gonna be? Like a studio space. Studio space? Podcast studio, a project I have coming up, so. Oh, wow. Yes. So Very that's, cool. that is uh, Hoobie's farm, if you will. I mean, it's, you can't really call it five acres a farm, but it's, it was a farm at one point, obviously. Yeah. For over a hundred years, it was. You know, having a new lease on life now, just a different life. Yeah, yeah, definitely a lot to do, though, but it'll be. A very fun process, but <laughs> it's interesting. I've gone from having all this garage space, and I still have the hangar, obviously, to store my cars for a while, but uh, yeah, I don't have very much out here. I'm actually gonna get rid of some, so that building definitely needs to go up, huh? It definitely does. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how, whatever you have in your mind and actually see it come to fruition, that'll be sweet. Yeah. I'm definitely getting hungry, though. Okay, well, we'll feed you, and then I'm gonna get the demo guys to come out and, uh, We'll say goodbye to some ancient buildings. That'll probably trigger some people. Well, the wizard agreed with me. He loved the property. It felt so nice, nice vibe, but that building behind the house definitely needs to come down, which is why this is here. Unfortunately, I have to go out of town. I have a sick family member, so I might miss it. We'll see. I'm kind of filming this as a safety, but the excavator has been delivered to knock down the building. So we'll see when I get back, if it still exists. <laughs>
Well, I am very sad that I missed the teardown of the building, but family is more important. And thankfully, Mike was able to come and film some clips of the building getting torn down. So big thanks to Mike for doing that for me. Uh, but look at all the space I have now. Even though it was five acres, the backyard felt really small because of all these buildings. And this one being such a hunk of junk right in the middle of it, it was just totally useless and an eyesore. But now I look out the back of the house and I have this unobstructed view. It is so beautiful and I am so very happy. I kind of wish I got involved in it, pulling it down with the Dodge Ram or I don't know, hooking something to the Lamborghini and trying to pull it. I don't, that would have been really stupid, but uh, I, I wish I was here for it, but uh, at least I get to see the results. And there's plenty of other things happening on the property. I'm beginning to talk to someone about putting up a building. The price is there. Uh, we're starting to work on the pond as well. So there'll be an update with that. Some big Venetian fountains, uh, making it larger and for more privacy and plenty of other things going on with the Hoopties. So as always, thank you so much for watching and check out new Hoovies Farm t-shirts. There's a pre-order right now. I'm getting mine soon and you can get yours.